Well, I think generally with the first day, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of excitement. Um, and I think that was the case today. I think there was a lot of mistakes and a lot of those mistakes were probably attributable to the excitement. Um, but those, the, the positive I thought was that there were, the mistakes were correctable and they weren't uh, something that we don't have the skill or the talent to overcome, which is, is something that um, we desperately have been, have been missing. We have, we have some talent on the team. We've just got to make sure we, we use it in the right ways and, and kind of stay focused as we get through practice. 40 days to your first game is a long time. <laughs> yeah. How do you practice? How do you stretch that out? How do you get accomplished what you want to do? You know, it's, it's, it's a challenge because you don't want the nicks and bruises to kind of linger. And so we try to go two or three days on and then take a day off, two or three days on and take a day off, uh, trying to take care of their bodies. But at the same time, you also want there to be some level of rhythm and some consistency. I mean, athletes crave consistency. And so, you know, you don't want to you don't want to put them out there for five or six days because then they're going to get fatigued and you also don't want them to lose the rhythm. So it's a challenge, but what we've tried to do is two on, three on, and then a day off. Um, and then we also bring them in to, to shoot so that we're getting more shooting repetitions in uh, because they're not going to get a lot of shots up generally in practice. Tell me about this team. Over three quarters of your team has not played on this floor before. Yeah. A lot of newcomers this year. Yeah, you know, I think it's the, the obvious thing is, you know, how do, how do we address that? And, uh, building a chemistry and understanding what each kid and, and what each lady brings to the table and, and you know playing to those strengths and so we have constantly talked about all right this is where she likes the ball this is where she wants the ball this is where we want to get her the ball and I think understanding that and believing that and trusting that is something we're, we're constantly striving to work on like I said the, the positive is is that there's there are skills and talents out there to be utilized we just got to make sure that each each other, we all understand where the ball needs to get to does it change your preseason? Yeah, it definitely changes the preseason. I mean, there's more teaching going on. There's more un trying to get them to understand this is the way we do things. This is the way we're going to play basketball. This is the way we're going to defend. Um, you know, the, the positive with that is I think we have some players that understand basketball. And so it's not been that challenging in putting in new things. Yeah, five returnees, all, some started, all played a lot. Yeah. You need them to step forward this year. It'd be nice to see some of the, the players that have the experience kind of lead the way. Uh, I do think, you know, even with as many new players as we have, uh, we do have some experienced basketball players, at least at, the, at, at the, some level of college. And so they, they can also help with the understanding of what it's like to, to go against a physical and a fast and that type. So we're expecting them to lead a little bit as well. Does the spider style change this year? You're a little bit taller than you have yeah. been in past years. You have an abundance of guards. How will the spiders play this year? We still like to play up-tempo. We still like to push the basketball. Uh, I think the, the style will change a little bit is it will be a little bit more, uh, we'll, we'll dictate a little bit more of what we're doing from the bench in terms of getting the ball where we need to get it instead of allowing, uh, I think with Michaela and Kylie, you had an, they had an understanding of what we were trying to do. So we gave them a little more freedom to make decisions. I think we'll, we'll pull the reins in a little bit because we got such young players uh, that I think they need a little bit more of uh, this is where we need to get the ball. Last question, what does this team need to accomplish in the preseason to be ready for game one? You know, honestly, I, I've said this to many people, I wish we could have scrimmaged today against the Division One basketball team. And the reason why is so that they understand what that looks like. And then we could go from there. Um, that's what they really need. And then the, the piece that we can probably address right now is they need to be able to play together and understand each other. And that is, that's something that we can't do unless we practice.